All right, so welcome back to the shadering lesson here, everybody. And what we want to go ahead and do here now is um, actually add a color control for Bender's body here. And we want to have the ability to switch between what is going to be a sort of flat gray um, to a shiny metal gray. And we also want to add a glorious golden color here. So the easiest way for us to, to go ahead and do that here is just simply select our global master controller. We're going to go ahead and add an attribute here. It's going to be an enumerated value here. So we'll call this um, Keller Master Changer. Okay, so we'll rename the green here to Basic Gray. Um, blue is going to be the shiny metal. Gray. And the third one here will be the glorious golden bender. So we'll go ahead and add to all that. Okay. And now we just need to go ahead and create a, a couple different shaders for bender here. So let me go ahead and bring my hyper shade over here. Go ahead and create a new V ray material here. We'll rename this the um, bender body shader okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in a couple images here so I can sample some color information from okay so this bender body shader will start off with uh, sampling the color there of that gray okay we'll just go ahead here and delete that real quick just turn this down a little bit here okay and we just need to go ahead and select all of our geometric pieces here. And just need to go ahead and select them. And you can do this, you know, pretty much in any way that you want. Um, but it's just easier for me to, to simply just go ahead here and do this piece by piece. It's just so I don't actually select the entire um, geometric group for Bender and making sure that we actually open the door here so we get the insides. Okay, so now that that's actually all applied here. We'll go ahead and jump into our set driven key tab here. Okay, we're going to load the, the Bender Master controller here as the driver. We're going to load the V-Ray material as the driven. Select the color master changer. Just go ahead and select all these attributes for the shader. Go ahead and key that. So now this is going to hold its um, color whenever we go to switch here. So I'm going to go over here and switch to from a ba the basic gray to the shiny metal gray. Select our body shader. Just jump into the attributes of the body shader here. Turn the reflection to completely white. Turn the amount, um, say something like 0.154 should be fine. Um, if it's too high, you can simply go ahead and change that. Um, but for right now, I think that that's fine. So we'll just change our reflection subdivisions also up to 20 um, maybe add a little bit of roughness here and I think that's fine you can always change that down to a little bit darker as well so we'll go ahead and key that and then we'll change our bender master control color here to the glorious golden color okay select our body shader We'll go ahead here and adjust this as well. Just making sure that I turn that sample color off. And we'll <coughs> sample the diffuse color with that gold that I imported. And we're also going to sample the reflection color with that gold I um, imported here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the diffuse color down just a little bit. And I'm going to take the reflection amount up a lot more because it. Um, Gold's going to be a little bit more reflective for Bender here. Okay. And other than that, I think we're okay. So let's go ahead here and, and key this. Now let's just make sure that all of this works. Okay, so there's our gold. 
there's our basic gray and there is our shiny metal gray and we also have our smooth control here as you can see okay and we also have our bite my shiny metal ass mode <laughs> so there's pretty much um, our coloring and what I also want to go ahead and do here now is start actually bringing in some of our attributes or um, so some of our assets to go ahead and tie these all into the rig um, and we can start doing that in the next lesson because that's going to be a little bit more time consuming and, and there's also a little bit more in terms of what I want to go ahead and be um, go ahead and actually tie into the rig um, so yeah come on back and we'll continue working <laughs>